Hi, I'm Jilly from Baby Sleep Made Simple, and today we're going to talk about gentle sleep training. So recently I've seen a little bit on social media claiming that gentle sleep training was a myth or that it simply didn't work, and I am here to attest to the fact that not only is gentle sleep training real, it does exist, but it's also a very effective way of getting your little one sleeping beautifully, sleeping independently, and sleeping through the night when they are developmentally ready to do so. And in fact, for the last five years, I've been helping families every single day use gentle sleep training to get their babies sleeping well. Now, the truth is that all sleep training methods work as long as you have a clear plan and you can stick to it. I tell clients of my program, 21 Days to Peace and Quiet, that sleep training is on a spectrum, right? So at this end, we have no cry or you know, the gentlest form of sleep training. And at this end, we have cry it out, we have extinction sleep training, where you basically put your little one in the crib and you kind of leave it to them to figure out how to sleep independently, right? So two ends of the spectrum. Now gentle sleep training falls in between these two points. Whether you're closer to this end and you're giving lots of hands-on assistance, especially the first few nights, to help your little one adapt to changes in their sleep routine, or whether you're more in the middle where you're hanging out in your little one's bedroom but giving more verbal reassurance, not so much physical or hands-on reassurance. And then as we progress through sleep training, we all move toward fully independent sleep. So we're always gonna get to the end goal of a little one that goes into the crib happy and awake, falls asleep easily on their own and sleeps through the night. But where we start is really up to us. And as long as you have a clear step-by-step -step plan of how to move along this spectrum, we will all get to the point of independent, blissful sleeping through the night. The reasons why some families would choose gentle sleep training over quicker, maybe cry it out sleep training methods are they want to be with their little one as they teach them new independent sleep habits. Maybe their baby or toddler is also quite sensitive or slow to adapt to change and so they feel like a slower paced sleep training method might be best for them. Or maybe a parent's really nervous or anxious about leaving their little one in their bedroom on the first night, which is totally understandable. So no matter the reasons why you might choose gentle sleep training, again, as long as you have a plan and you can stay consistent and motivated, you can see it through. Now, gentle sleep training does take a bit longer than cry it out method or the Ferber method. Um, and as long as parents are okay and they know about that, then it shouldn't be a reason to stop you from using gentle sleep training. Now, of course, it depends on where you fall on the spectrum and where you start. It depends on how consistent you are and the plan that you've made. But in general, you can expect really big improvements in your little one's sleep using gentle sleep training within several days, maybe up to a few weeks. With sleep training, my philosophy is to give parents options. We choose the best sleep training method for your little one based on their age, based on their personality, based on your parenting style, and any other factors that are really important in your unique situation. And in 21 Days to Peace and Quiet, my support team and I help you choose the best sleep training method for you and your little one. Okay guys, I hope this helped to clarify that gentle sleep training is not a myth. It definitely exists and it's a very effective way of getting your baby or toddler sleeping through the night. If you're wondering if gentle sleep training is the right option for your baby and your situation, then feel free to leave a comment and we will help guide you through it. Take care.